through works, we fulfill God's mandate on our lives. It's only through works that we, I and you, can fulfill the mandate of God upon our lives. Only through works. So, there is no substitute to, to work. What that means is that if you are ever going to fulfill the assignment that God put upon you, why he sent you to the earth in the first place, there is only one key instrument that God has given you, that God has equipped you with, through by and through which you could fulfill that mandate. And the only instrument that God has given to all of us equally by which we could fulfill the mandate and the calling of God upon our lives is through work. You must work and you must work hard if you want your mandate to be carried out on the earth. If you don't just want to come to the earth and be uh, a spectator, if you don't want to come to the earth to become a spectator for other people, if you don't want your life to become the life of a spectator on earth, you'll be here and become a spectator for 70 years. You just, what was the role of a spectator? Spectators are the ones who are clapping for other people. <laughs> Spectators are the ones who go to the stadium, not to be the main hero, not to be the ones who are playing, but they are the ones who go there just to clap. <laughs> Just to clap for the ones who are doing something. <laughs> they don't have time. <laughs> they don't have time to do to build their own lives. They don't have time to for, for them to be to produce a product or service so that somebody else will clap for them. <laughs> the only thing they could do with their time is to go and look for someone who is doing something. They will be killing that time. Sitting there two or three hours a day and be clapping for somebody else and be shouting, Hurrah, hey, you, yo, you, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, hurrah, you, oh. <laughs> that is unfortunately the life that many people are living up to today. 